Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue PKN Computer Training and in this Excel tutorial we're looking to see whether a text string, a word or a series of characters, text characters, appears anywhere within a range of cells. So the main function we're going to use for this is COUNTIF. We'll come on to that in a moment. But I also need to just teach you about wildcards, just in case you've not come across them before. A wildcard character is the asterisk character, and you'll find that on your keyboard, uh, Shift and 8, or on the main, and on the numeric keyboard, rather. Uh, it's also used for multiplication in Excel. So let's just see how we use um, this wildcard character in the context of text here. So it's where we want to do uh, a, like a partial match. So for example, if I put a little wildcard character there, what I'm essentially saying here is, is that my search criteria is that the text string needs to start with K and I, but there can be any number of characters after the K and I. If I put the star in front of K and I, what I'm saying here is that there can be any number of characters before K and I, but the text string must end with K and I. If I put the K and I within sort of sandwich between two wildcard characters, that means that uh, K and I must appear somewhere within the text string, but it could be the beginning, middle, or end. Okay, let's use the COUNTIF function. COUNTIF has two arguments, RANGE. Now, RANGE is where you're looking for something. So we're going to select all our product descriptions. Control shift down, control backspace to return to your formula. And we'll need to lock that reference. Why do we need to lock it? Because we're going to copy it down to these three rows. And we still want to refer to A2, A28. So F4 on your keyboard, you should have $4 within uh, that range reference, comma. The next argument is criteria. Now, this is where we have to create something a bit like this. Obviously, we're looking at pan uh, initially. Uh, so we're going to start off with an asterisk in quotation marks. So that's the equivalent of that asterisk there in front of the K. It's in quotation marks because it's like a text, part of the text string that we're creating, the criteria we're creating. Now, we need to put in a little ampersand character. Now, the ampersand character will join the asterisk to... Um, our cell reference. Uh, the posh word for it is concatenation, but essentially it, you're joining bits of text together. So I'm joining it to pan, then I need another asterisk, and then I'm joining pan to another uh, asterisk. Okay, so I've got asterisk ampersand C2 ampersand asterisk, and that gives me essentially this effect here. So if I put a close bracket in and press enter, and what it actually gives me is a count of how many times pan appears within a cell. Okay, same with knife or K and I, that could be knife or knives, uh, but chocolate's not found anywhere, unfortunately. Now, I'm not really that interested in the number of times the value appears. All I want to know is whether it appears or not. So I can create a little test here and ask the question, does this count if result in a value greater than zero? So I just put greater than zero at the end. That creates a logical test, copy it down, and I get true, true, false. So true pan and knife do appear somewhere in this range, but chocolate doesn't. Now, true and false, you may be happy with that, but if you want to convert it to yes and no, pretty easy to do, you just use an if, put the count if with an if, Logical test is the expression that returns true or false, which this does, comma. Then your second argument is value of true, which would be yes, in quotation marks, because it's a text value. And then finally, value of false, no. Close the bracket, press enter, you get a yes. Copy it down, you get your yeses and no's. So that's all there is to this tutorial. Thanks very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you find this kind of thing useful.